you tell that your ties to well guys we are on our annual trip up to eagle lake levi came with this year and uh which way do i gotta go this way that way go, victoria yeah. is back again this year and we're up here chasing muskies we were going to essentially film kind of a daily video day one was a travel day and action has been slow to say the least day one we had a couple follows after we got up here got unloaded we hit it hard early the next day got out moved a couple fish early and then we did shore lunch and then it was basically dead all day been fighting bluebird conditions it's been a little bit challenging but then we moved some fish late at night yesterday and then we get to day three and day three was the day that i have been dreading all week and day three is today basically we have flat calm bluebird conditions which is like the kiss of death on eagle but not today not today today was a good day and you're gonna see why right now <laughs> We were going to essentially film kind of a daily video. Day one was a travel day. Um, excuse me, sir. We're uh, headed to Eagle Lake uh, to go musky fishing. Would you want to come? I would love to. What's your name? Uh, Levi Key. And how do you know me? Uh, neighbors, good friends, best friends. Known you for a long time. So yeah. happy to take some time out of my busy schedule to teach you a thing or two about musky fishing. Well, let's do it. What's the matter with the clothes I'm wearing? Can't you tell that your tie's too wide? Maybe I should buy some more. Welcome back to the age of jive Where have you been hiding out lately, honey? You can't dress as flashy till you spend a lot of money Everybody's talking about the new sound Funny, but it's still rock and roll to me Well guys, welcome back And if you're new here, welcome to the channel Thanks for watching uh, As Levi mentioned, we are headed up to Eagle Lake to do some musky fishing. We just turned up Highway 502. Anyway, this is a, a part of an annual trip I go on. We used to come up here and do walleyes. And then kind of pre-pandemic 2017, 2018, I started coming up with some buddies to fish Eagle. Uh, we fished out of camp boats, didn't have a depth finder, didn't have a trolling motor. We used wind drifts to kind of put us in position. And that's really where the musky bug really bit me. I always kind of had it, but it really bit me then. Last year was the first time we've been back in three years, and I brought my wife Victoria along with. If you guys have watched any of those videos, uh, she's a little bit of a spitfire in the boat, which keeps things interesting to say the least. Do you like s'mores, Pop Tarts? What about the ice cream sundae ones? The s'mores ones are the best. Or if you may have s'more out of a s'more pop there. Oh! Can you imagine? She's running the camera right now. We'll, we'll show her later. Uh, but yeah, we're headed up. We're staying at Pine Beach Lodge again. I'll link all their information below. Great place to stay, guys. Rick and Allie are just absolutely fantastic. And uh, we're really looking forward to the trip. The weather looks really bitey, really bitey. So hopefully that's in our favor. We need a little bit of musky redemption. If you watched our trip last year, it was a complete dud. Um, as Glenn McDonald from 54 of Us has mentioned in the past, when you hit those bluebird days up on Eagle, it can completely shut that lake down and it shut it down last year. It also didn't help that we had the flu most of the week, which really, really limited our ability to fish with any level of energy and effectively. So um, anyway, long enough intro. We are uh, probably two hours away from the resort. We're gonna get everything unloaded, get the boat in the water, and we will take you guys along for the journey. Hopefully release several videos from this trip with some pretty cool content. Uh, we have some other guys coming up fishing walleyes, and uh, we're gonna do some shore launches, some stuff like that. We'll try and get all of that filmed for you. Do it a little better than we did last year. Try and fix some of the audio issues we had last year, and 
put out some decent content here, so stay tuned. What's the matter with the car I'm driving? Can't you tell that it's out of style? Should I get a set of white wall tires? Are you gonna cruise the Miracle Mile? Nowadays you can't be too sentimental. Your best bet's true, baby blue continental. Hot, fun, cool, punk, even if it's old junk, it's still rock and roll to me. And action has been slow to say the least. Day one we had a couple follows after we got up here, got unloaded. Click or whatever. Okay guys, um, <clears throat> we just got out here, got unloaded, everything at the camp. Just got out here and what we're gonna do now is kind of walk you guys through really quickly what we're going to do to approach finding active fish. Um, we don't have a pattern. We haven't even casted a line yet. We're gonna have three in the boat. Victoria will be first, then it'll be Levi in the middle, and then myself in the background and the trolling motor from the rear. What I generally like to do is mix up the baits when I don't have a pattern yet. So what we're gonna have Victoria doing is throwing small blades fast. These are big tooth tackle. I really, really like these blades. They got a small profile, and for whatever reason, they thump super hard. And these just seem to be kind of a big fish magnet. What we're gonna have Levi doing in the middle of the boat is throwing a shallow swimming dog. I really like shallow swimming dogs on shield lakes because when you're fishing around rocks and stuff, you can keep them up higher in the water column. You, there's less chance of snagging. If you know the structure really well, then it's you can use the regular swimming dogs, but I like the shallow in this instance. And then I'm gonna be in the back of the boat throwing a beaver, baby size. And the reason I'm doing this is I want something that's pull pause in the back of the boat, something a little different. These are both straight retrieves. These other two baits are straight retrieves. This will be fast, this will be slower, and maybe a little bit bigger profile. But this will allow us to key in on whether or not those fish want something that's more stop and go versus speed um, and kind of that fleeing type approach. So that's what we're gonna do to get started here and see if we can get on some active fish. We'll probably change up bait selections if we're, we're not moving fish on this stuff and try different colors, things of that nature. Generally on shield lakes, I've had good luck with white, blacks, oranges, and golds. So that's the ticket right now. We're gonna jump into it. Oh, there's one way behind me here. Oh, that's a good one, honey. Come look at this thing. Here he comes. He's on me. He's really lazy. He's right here still. Where are you? Where are you? There he is. See him? He's on me. That was a good one. That was a 45. Oh, there he is, right there. I saw him, I saw him that time. Yep. Oh, yeah. He just went away. Where'd he go? Oh, he's on me. God, he's so lazy. He's so lazy. Huge. He's so lazy. He's right here still. See him? Uh-huh. That fish is so lazy. Yeah, he's still there. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. He was so lazy behind it. That fish ain't gonna eat. But we know where he is. That's a good one though. Day one we had a couple follows after we got up here, got unloaded. We hit it hard early the next day. Got out, moved a couple fish early. Last year was the worst possible weather. 95 degrees, flat, calm, bluebird skies the whole time. Like literally, that just that just shuts this lake off. Couldn't be worse. It reminded me of, remember when you and I were up here that last year when we met Uncle Pete, mm -hmm. and it was like three straight days of flat, calm, and we didn't even move a muskie, and then we got one day of storms, and we raised that, oh, here he is, right here, he's on me, right here. Right where he should be, sitting in the eddy behind that island. Super lazy. Get 
Okay, well that's good intel. Beaver again. That fish was at least 10 feet behind the bait. Oh really? So what you're saying is there are pretty, probably many times when there's a follow up, but you're just not looking 10 feet out. You should always be looking 10 feet out. If you're not, no, you're, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> Don't watch your bait in the figure eight. Watch behind it. Never watch your bait. Your bait should just be muscle memory. Yep. That fish ain't gonna eat. We're gonna just weasel our way out of here and hit the next spot. That fish is gonna need like a moon riser set to go, I think. She's way too late. She didn't even follow me around in the eight. She just kind of sat there and I went around on her and she kind of looked at it and right where she should be though right next to this cabbage patch in the eddy what was that? I don't know. there's a fish falling here really late Levi was it? yeah really late I just saw it. It swam this way. Could have been a pike. I didn't get a good look at it. But it was wide. And then we did shore lunch. How about a pair of pink sidewinders and a bright orange pair of pants? Well, you could really be a bold bummer, baby, if you just give it half a chance. Don't waste your money on a new set of speakers. You get all mileage from a cheap pair of sneakers. And then it was basically dead all day. Been fighting bluebird conditions, it's been a little bit challenging. But then we moved some fish late at night yesterday. I pretend like it's a fish. Levi, what happened? I got snagged on a rock. A boulder. Did Kyle tell you the Kyle was, was snagged there? on it too, but he <laughs> just got it off and asked us to film. So that's not true at all. That's not what happened at all. I still don't even see so where that thing is. can't blow at. the spot, so I gotta keep fishing. Yep. Uh, you're probably past it now. Nope. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. This must be a monster rock. Oh man. What the f why are we right on top of it? This is look at all these rocks. Yeah, that's I guess I did get kinda of close to it on the map. It's only in the yellow though. I think we're basically fishing in a quarry. Thought I had her mapped out good, but apparently not. Now she's mapped out okay. <laughs> you know, those rocks could have moved. And the best part is, is Levi never saw that giant ass <laughs> rock right under him. Well, he was busy getting snagged too far away. Yeah, I was, <laughs> I was snagged on further <laughs> out rocks. Oh man, I just had a fish swipe me. I'm not even kidding, he's right here. Right here. Big one. Look at you, Levi, really keep going. It was way down there. There it is. See him, Tor? He's behind me, right here. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just saw him right here. Where? Swiped up at you and you paused over here. 
actually after you clean this up. Go dumps. Oh yeah, here it is. Right here. You're right under me now. Right there. Here he comes. See him? Yeah. He's way behind you though. Yep. Yeah. Do you need to act more wounded? Here he comes. He's getting hotter. He's getting hotter. Oh, he's so lazy. Oh, he's so lazy. Oh, see him. Yeah, yeah. He you see him like that? That? He's really low. Yeah, I know he's lazy. He's, he's right under me. Right there. Oh, yeah. He came back around quick, though. So he's... I lost him. I can't believe you even saw that fish. Well, I'm looking. I know, but I could barely see it, even when I was looking. Why are they lazy? I mean, it is Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday is kind of a lazy day. And then we get to day three, and day three was the day that I have been dreading all week, and day three is today. Basically, we have flat, calm, bluebird conditions, which is like the kiss of death on eagle, but not today. Not today. Today was a good day, and you're going to see why right now. Get in There's one. Right there. Really late. Was it coming in fast? Or? Um, it kind of like when I did the upper, it kind of showed itself and then turned and went down. I knew there was going to be a fish on this. That was a good one, too. That was a good one. Underwater rocks. Is that what it is here? Oh, I pulled a reef, rock reef. The pattern has been spotted. Uh, kinda. Must be like a channel that goes in between these weed beds because mm -hmm. it's 23 feet here. It feels like there should be a fish here. Absolutely, they should, assuming they're in the weeds. This is a cool spot. We've never fished this. We're going to have to go in there and map it out once we fish through it. Got him. 
Got one. Okay, real carefully grab the net. Okay, you're gonna come on the right side of me. This is a big one, dude. She's not ready. She's not ready yet. She's not ready. Stay hooked. Okay, ready? Ready? ready. Oh, oh, oh. She's not ready. She's not ready. She's the whole thing on up though. Okay. Ready? Ready? Scoop, 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 scoop. Down. Yes! Down, down, down. down. Okay, you're stuck on the trolley more. Step up. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh. Okay. Lift, act like that. Petrol and motor. Oh. <sighs> well, you just left it up quick. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. Yes. <sighs> yep. Just untwist it and then set it back down, Levi. Should be good. Let me get this. And you can just start shooting me. Now. Well guys, it only took till day three in the worst possible conditions, but we finally put a fish in the bag here. And it's a good one. Normally I wouldn't bump them, but she's a pretty good one. So, like I said, it's been a grind. Uh, we don't have a ton of content up to this point. Some fallen fish here and there, super lazy, but got this one to eat on a suic. It's been my hot bait this year. Uh, so we're gonna pull her out, bump her quick, show her to you. We're gonna let her go and keep fishing. So, come here, girl. She's a big one. <clears throat> Big, thick, eagle egg fish. Oh, she's not as long as I thought. 42? Not 42. Okay. Yep, she's a good one. She's a good one. A lot of fun. Been waiting all year for this moment. And we're gonna get her back here. Grab that orb, Levi. Grab the orb. Come right here. like that and then... beauty she's starting to tense up there she goes nice, <laughs> nice job on the camera nice. we got her oh, what's the matter with the crowd and don't you know that they're out of touch Well shoot or try to be a straight A student if you are Then you think too much Don't you know about the new fashion money All you need are looks And a whole lot of money It's the next phase New wave, dance craze Anyways it's still rock and roll to me Everybody's talking about the new sound Funny but it's still rock and roll to me Got him. Okay, come on, come on. You got a lift. Ready? Ready? Oh, yes! Yeah! Oh my god. <laughs> On top water. On top water. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one.